And with that, I think we're good. Alright. Oh. We are back. And again with Shadows of Loathing. Don't know what that was about in the beginning. Something's wrong with my connection with Twitch, apparently. But, I think we should be good for now. If it doesn't lag too hard, I guess. We should be fine. Hmm. Last we left off, I think we had just finished the last of the quests we needed before we headed out. Against Hellstrom. But let me check everyone first just to make sure. Who was the Hellstrom guy you mentioned? Ah, that old that fat cat oil baron that's been going around buying up every patch of dirt big enough to drill a well into. I don't want to talk about it, he'll get his soon enough. Oh yeah. I met that Gilmore guy. Oh, how he's doing? I don't know. Hmm. Okay. Done his quest. Done her their quests. Hmm. Alright, that should be it. Let's get on with the uh, battle, I guess. What's our mission, mission status, Jasper? Ayala says she's ready to deal with the guard out front. Wendelin's all set to spring the gate. Xenia's armed and dangerous, well, only a bit more dangerous than usual, I guess. Osikalusa is confident she can get us into the inner sanctum. Grover's got a big Betty ready to blow. And Farina says we got a getaway car. It's good to go, too. I guess we're as ready as we'll ever, we'll ever be. Alright. Let's do this. Alright, then, here goes nothing. Don't you mean here goes everything? Kid, you kids and you enthusiasm, don't get so fired up you burn yourself out. Whatever, let's go. What about the cat? What about her? What's her name? Is she coming with us? It's Abby Abby. She came with a store. We couldn't get her to leave even if we wanted to. She's fierce and independent, so don't worry about her. Hmm. Alright. There's a guard patrolling out front in the fortified refinery. Iola Sachets. Up to the guard, holding a glass of milk. Well, hello, handsome. I couldn't help but notice all the hard work you're doing. Keeping this place safe from intruders. Eh, uh, that's my job, yes, ma'am. And you're just doing such a good job, too. I was just saying to myself, there is a handsome young man who must be so thirsty after walking, I must simply bring him a little pick-me-up. Oh, that's very kind of you. I could use a glass of milk. The guard drinks the milk and instantly passes out. Emma shoots a wink at you as she strolls back to the car. Go get him, Tiger. Alright. Hold on. Wendelin has removed the panel from the front of the control box, revealing a mass of gears and cogs packed with grease. Give me a hand with this, would ya? Is it gonna have? Is it gonna have all fingers still on it afterwards? Yeah, no worries, kid. I got this little gizmo I've been tinkering with. It's gonna do all the heavy lifting. I just need you to hold the panel open for me. Ooh, hold on. How much Slee's armor do I have? I have six Slee's armor. Can I get make it a seven? Slee's armor. There we go. Reach in and activate it. You roll up your sleeves, stick your arm in the nest of sharp steel gears nearly up to the elbow. When your fingers find the lug, Wendell pointed out, you take two deep breaths, 
snap the thing to the left and yank out your arm there before the gear starts spinning like the, bl the blenders at a half price margarita night. It's all in the wrists. Perverse, vulgar, crude, unrefined, refined, classy. Hmm. Oscaloosa pulls out her meteor shard and carefully rotates it just in the right position in space to create a small wormhole. Okay, on the other side of that wormhole should be the inside of the safe. I just need you to reach in and unlock it from the inside. Is that safe? Can you do it yourself? I have to hold the shard in just the right position so the hole doesn't close and slice your arm off. So no, it's not safe, but I'll... So no, I can't do it myself. Fine. Reach through and jig jiggle bits of the safe mechanism until you hear the latch click open, then you're pull your arm out of the hole with a relief. Phew. Phew. The safe opens to reveal a single key inside, which makes the word keys on the outside a real exaggeration. And now that you grab the key, it's just a lie. Nice, got the key. Right, that's my bit done. I'm gonna head back to the car. Good luck. Refinery work pants. Well made, but otherwise unremarkable desk. Memos from the from the memos and so forth you gather this is Baron Hellstrom's personal desk. Pretty much all that's in his business related papers. It looks like this weird leather leather pouch. Okay. The pouch contains a stick of pink chalk and a black candle that smells like french fries, some old dried oregano that I guess, and a criminal receipt from the SIT library for overdue book finds and the list of the book call number. Yeah, that. Maybe we can check it later. What's next? We unlock this door and go into the bunker. Holy Jesus, that a bomb. <laughs> yep, ain't she a beaut? He's big as heck. Oh, don't worry about the... Oh, don't worry, it's a shaped charge. Pretty much all the blast force is gonna go straight into the wall. Pretty much. Are you staying, planning on standing right next to it? Can't recommend that in any case. Go ahead and light it, the fuse whenever you're ready. Huh. What are they doing with all these shadow creatures? What should we do, Jasper? I'm forced to admit that this is as far as my plan goes. I think you're gonna have to figure out something out on your own here. Does that guy have a shadow beard? Is that guy from your dream? He doesn't look like he wants to be interrupted. Who in tarnation are you? I'm about to end this sentence before I kill you deader than most people are aware is possible, bucko. Dang it. Hold on. Spooky armor.
I might eat anything. I have. Meh. Well, it's gonna find something anyway. Six, six, oh, he has a lot of muscle. Oh, that did not damage them at all. Desperate. What do we do with this big central machine thing? Sometimes the traditional ways are best. Come on, we gotta get out of here before the whole place goes up. Ooh, I like this. Weapons. Crescent wrench. Mysticality plus 13 spooky damage. If only I could figure out what to add to it. That was pretty good. Model pump jack. If somebody asks where you got this, you have the hilarious opportunity to reply, My name's not Jack. Everybody, that went better than I could ever expect it. Just goes to show the old crew still has some life in it after all. Although, I clearly got to hand it to our new member, Dan. We couldn't have done it without you, kid. Ah, oh, shucks, it was nothing. Nonsense, you deserve one hell of a reward now that you've done today. Unfortunately, most of our money is tied up in saving bonds, so you'll have to settle for my cool shades. Well, thanks. Now it's time for us to get back to our retirement. I got a shuffle board game in 20 minutes. See you all around. Oh, the cursed sickle. A duh. All right. But first, let's check the library. What was it?
I'm looking for a certain book. Again? This time I actually know which one. The call number is 133.4315-2319. Now it's been moved to Special Collections, I'm afraid I can't let you check it out, but if you promise to be careful with it, I can let you read it here. That'd be swell, thanks. Uh, Douglas Lee's one moment returns with an old book bound in black leather. The title page says Diabolus Ungulata. A directory of the hooved and horned masters of the realm below. As you flip through the book, the page opens to a page that has been accidentally marked with a block of black wax. The page is headed Duke Bovicus and has a drawing of a spiky symbol that on the pouch you found. Apparently, Bovicus is a great and heavy lord of the Inferno whose domains are violent and greed. Violence and greed. And who is known for offering lopsided deals with foolish human humans who long for power. The description of the ritual to summon him which involves standing in a circle drawn with chalk mixed with virgin blood, burning beef tau tallow candle, scattering cow's bane, and reciting a complex incantation which you dutifully copy down just in case. It also notes that regularly reciting the incantation backwards serves as a charm to prevent Bofikus from finding you, if you're worried about that for some reason. Alright. As much as this is nice, I'm gonna uncurse it. <laughs> Might as well. Oh. I can't curse them anymore. Uncurse them. Hey Jessica, I found the sickle and it was, uh, where there was some bad implication about the whole situation with the shadow monsters and the government. Not that there weren't already, but this is turning out to be a pretty big bite to chew. That's disquieting. But if it's with the readings we were getting from the de Detectotron, what readings? Just get some sleep and I'll tell you about it in the morning. I wanted to look up some stuff first. Hmm. Okay, Rod can of fine jewelry, jewelry store. Oh, you old chemic. An SFT science lady. Hardware store, potion store, jeweler. I can look into some new rings. Oh! Find out the music box. Haunted. Nice. That farm stuff was wild, eh? It's a good thing that your bed isn't like this in the waking world. Your great school lunch gentleman is levitating behind this counter. He glares at you just like he did in real life. See what's for lunch? Looking gross, it's fried ghost knuckles. A clock whose time is running out. Guess it's symbolism here. Wow, Noah is really freaking out about this dream. Huh. Dream you must be more scared of chickens than real life you. Okay, this is actually pretty scary. Nice work, Brain. You. Me. That out of here, I'm busy. Wait. Are you the real you talking to me in my dream, or am I making a dream version of you? I don't have time for this vaudeville act. Scram. Jeez, what a, what a grouch. 
She's done talking. Give us a smooch. Yay. Instead of the orb, play the music box. Nice. Okay. As you leave the room, you notice a letter opener stabbed into the door with a sheet of paper on it. Hey Jessica, what's this document knife to my door? I didn't lock it, figure it was none of my business. You didn't see anybody come into this room to try to murder my bedroom door with an open letter. Letter opener. I was busy. Wizarding license renewal form. Dear dead man, we are unable to find any records of your wizarding license on file with the municipal records office. Please use the enclosed form. To update or renew your license accordingly at your earliest convenience, monetary fines and or magical curses may be levied against you as penalty. This this is not resolved. I'm supposed to have a license for magic spells? Well, yeah, can you imagine the chaos otherwise? How did you not know that? I became a wizard in a dream and none of the dream people explained the regulatory structure to me. You had better get it taken care of before they turn you into a trash bin for community service. Be care if it where? The DMV. It's in Government Valley. Where's that? Down the coast, the ways... It was the nexus of all things red tape related before things started to get weird. People don't go there much anymore. Unless they absolutely have to. Like you do. Yep. To fix this bureaucratic nonsense that is almost certainly a trap. Definitely a trap, but you have to go anyway. Isn't that the only reason why? Oh, you found another artifact, huh? Kind of. What do you mean, kind of? Well, it wasn't there yesterday, and it's too, I don't know, big, powerful, strange, to be a regular artifact. I pegged the dial on the Detectotron. Oh boy, oh jeez. Yeah, how do I get there? Hang on, I got a map here somewhere. Wait, what? A map? Is it a real map? Or just one of those vast array of non-map things you keep referring to as maps? She glares at you and shoves an honest-to-goodness according to the oil map into your hand. Well, just again, this is a real breakthrough. <laughs> Alright. Let's check this new store. Dorothy Rodkin. What you got? All their accessories and rings, okay. Right, I also need to see any items with the letter H in front of it. Nah. Thank you, anyway. Bitters, cherries. Mixer effect. What does that do? Okay. Ah, that's fine. Valley. We're at the finale. 
Sinister enough for a government work. This bench has been covered in specks, so no vagrant attempts to sit on it. Ooh, this is a very thorough map. Someone's calling, but that's not a normal ring. Maybe it's an international doll. He looks sad. No, he's not bothering anybody. But this isn't the one. I don't want to talk to him. I understand. I'll burn the telephone then. Wait, what? The telephone is in use. Hmm. Can I get the tank novel to go? Be fine. Go to up. Do you like playing with matches, caller? Sure, we all do. This is not the one. I understand. I will. Bur no, I want this telephone, and I'll get it for you. Hey, wait. The DMV. Well, here's to the obvious trap you're about to step into. Okay, then this is actual progression. Hold on. There's some sort of unusual structure here. It's made of some kind of metal you never seem. It's opaque, but still somehow is glowing from within it. Like a math book that swallowed a candle. It's cool to the touch, but it radiates some kind of warmth. This doesn't feel like the typical public art project, so why build it in an otherwise abandoned area? Hello? It's for you. That isn't him. I'm here in this house. I'm there with him. This is not him. I'll burn the telephone then. It's not doing that. These telephones are expensive. Another nearly identical sculpture. You're not really sure what it is or what purpose it serves. It's made out of the very same weird metal. Very weird. What do we got here? Wanna hop on stage and join the terrible show?
Ballet Slippers, Swan Cake, Shredded Tutu, Yule, the Nutcracker. Oh, it's a familiar. Oh, man. I really hope I can actually. I'll probably do it off stream, but I want to get all the familiars. This one's pretty cool. Attacks enemies reduce their stats. I would like that, but I do like my. Um, ability to do so much damage to them. on a rainy day your house is on fire how will you get out when you're in the train who will save you what do you mean when my house is on fire this isn't him I understand do you want this telephone or shall I burn it give it give it to me at least tell me who you are either of you these telephone calls. Well, listen, it's him. He looks sad. Oh, he's not bothering anybody. Let's burn him and see what he does. Hang up. Now I'm on fire. cheese, spike bracelet, little Trixie the maniac doll. You know what? I do want a little maniac on my side. Little Trixie. Oh, and she's fast. Hmm. One of those pay telescopes, but a better look at any of the scenery here is of no value at all. Oh. the highest shadow tank I can have.
You're all out of questions. Will you make a guess now? I don't have any more questions or guesses. Can I guess? It is me. I am your dream date. What? I've been in your dream date the whole time. If I hang up, will you find me? Yes, I know where you are. Congratulations, I think. Silence. The line is dead. Maybe that's for the best. You've heard too much. Hmm. More spooky armor. The local branch of the IRS is looking pretty run down. You think they had plenty of fun stuff for upkeep? Maybe that's not how it works. It won't budge, it's probably just as well. You hate paying taxes. The Black House. This lock seems to be made out of the same metal as the giant structures you encountered. Very curious indeed. Alright, let's go to the DMV. Huh. It's a wanted poster, not a view, unfortunately. Hmm. Take a number. 551. Okay, only 10 before you. That doesn't seem too bad. Hi there. What brings you to the DMV today? Not exactly an ironing. Do you mind if I cut in front of you? Oh, come on, please. You're made of rocks. You're operating on a geological scale. You literally have all the time in the world. Rocks, explain it to him. You don't look. You don't need to be here. You're made of hypercrystalline, thomomorphic diorites. You don't need a wizarding license because you don't cast spells. You're inherently magical. I'm sorry, but you're pretty too much, uh, too heavy to drive a car. Hi, ma'am. What brings you here today? Oh, not much. I need a staple removed from these old documents. Can you just pull it out yourself? I tried to, but it's a titanium staple. I'm not as spry as I used to be. What do you mind if I cut in front of you, ma'am? I certainly would. I've been waiting my turn patiently, and so can you. Let me use this titanium staple remover. Good luck, ma'am. I just so happen to have a titanium staple remover here. I was wondering if I was ever going to use it. Oh, how marvelous. You have recently removed the staple from her bundle of documents. Thank you much, dear, and I can spend the rest of the afternoon knitting cozies for my collection of vintage machine guns. Hi, robot. Hey, robot. Hey, robot, do you mind if I cut in front of you? You step in front of the robot and it points a laser gun at you. Reprogram it. Well, heck. After completing the final exam for SAT's robot, Robotectronics course, this should be a breeze. You punch in a sequence of commands into the console in the back of the robot and rolls out a queue. Out of the queue, navigates haltingly around the waiting room bench and drives out the door. A minotaur. Hey, buddy, what are you here for? Uh, I don't know, it's so annoying. Driver's license? I can't drive, I don't fit in any cars. I have to ride the trolley to work. That's not so bad. People have, lots of people have to ride the like a horse. Oh, huh. What do you want? I'm too mad to have a conversation right now. I was wondering if you, you mind if I went in front of you. I'm kind of in a hurry. Like now, get back. Maybe you need a magic license. I don't know any spells. I just hang around in mazes, labyrinths, and Swedish furniture stores. Do you need a license for being a magical creature? That would be hugely racist. Like if it was like I need to be a license for being Greek. Ah, uh, yeah, geez, good point. Maybe you just don't need to be here. What? What do you mean? It doesn't seem like any of the stuff they do here applies to you. So I came here for nothing. I've been wasting my time. Yeah, I feel your pain, but I think that's the case. Do you know how long it takes to get in and out of the labyrinth? Hi 
Now, what are you here for? Taking a vacation to Rome soon. Gotta get a photo so I can review my freaking my freaking passport. Look at all this paperwork. Can you believe? Outrageous. My pop citizenship papers weren't this complicated. What do you want? I ain't here to flap my gums. Would you mind if I cut it ahead of you in line? Yeah, yeah, I'd frick in mind. Try and I'll cut you. We have 500 meat. How much meat would I have to offer for you to leave? For you to be unable to refuse it? Well, I could use more souvenir money. 500. It's a deal? The clerk takes your number, ticket, and looks you over your form. Then, man, that's me. To the right and through the mouth. Come again. The fluorescent lights flicker for a moment. The room is no longer as it was before. There's a d giant demonic mouth hovering in the air. A giant mouth hacks you up like a hairball into the office that clearly belongs to Dark Noel. How she got it? The snow in here is anyone's guess, but it's probably a dark magic of some kind. Hmm. All of these presents are labeled not Dan. Thanks for coming to my little crimbo party, Dan. Not that there wasn't much of a chance of you pulling a no-show. People say I'm obsessed, but all wizards are obsessive. Obsessives? All I had to do was make you jump. To make you jump was take away your license. I don't need a license to take you down, Noel. I consider it my civic duty, and I'll do it again just like I did in the swamp. That was a fluke, and that swamp doesn't have any criminal spirit. But now you're on my turf. Well, if you think I'm gonna switch allegiances and join your Dark Crusade or whatever, you got another thing coming. I wasn't going to ask. I hate your guts. Fine, I hate yours too. Fine, good. Witch. Enough talk, Noel. Let's settle this like real magic users with a traditional wizard's duel. How charming, I'll gladly. I'll even be magnanimous to let you go first. Give me your best shortcake. She's thrusts her palms forward, launching a huge brick of buttery cookie straight into your head. Stiff breeze! A circular, quick circular motion from your arms conjures a shield of semi-soft cheese, deflecting the shortbread harmlessly. You throw the shield forward, but Noel dodges it to the side. So you decided to fight dirty. Who's not and who's nice is decided by the winner, dear. Monterey Jackhammer! Meet me under the mistletoe. Leafy green dart machine guns out of her hands, shredding your attack. You dive and roll to escape. She redirects the remainder of the spell at you. <laughs> you wish, lady. Oh, don't flatter yourself. Let it snow. Was umbrella. Hmm. Magical bearer protects you just long enough to outlast the storm. You are cast to the rags, ragged tatters of it. Away as you stand to prepare your next attack. You'll never defeat me with all, all your allies and familiars. Maybe you got a point. Provolone Wolf. A howl pierces the air as the pure white wolf dashes from behind you, tries to know fangs bared. Tints. Tinsentical. Tinsentical? It's clearly a point on you. Of tinsel and tentacle. Come on. You did Ma's Umbrella for crying out loud. Ma's Umbrella makes perfect sense. Tin sit. Tin centicle seems, I don't know, kind of dubious. Your face seems kind of dubious. Six geese of slang. Rock fortress. Alright. Let's see, I'll go to hell. You say I'm sprinting towards Noel, who's expecting a spell that doesn't exist. In the second it takes her to realize your bluff, you're covered in half distance to her. Fury, she whips her arms into the air. Black lightning coruscates around her hand as she screams, Feliz!
Now you keep spreading Noel's eyes are dead black, her hair is whipping around her like snakes. A black lightning is in her hands, coalesced into the shape of a grinning skull. Felice Navi dead? String cheese theory. You whip a thick, fibrous strand of cheese reset at her wrists, tying them together and interrupting your spell. And then you punch her in the face. Ow, oh, bite those, you jerk. That's foul. Your face slammed into her repeated leaf too fast to be followed by human eyes. You're naughty. I'm nice. Go ahead and finish me off. Make it a red crimbo. I think I'm proving my point already. I'll let you out of here alive if you promise to leave the country and never return. Huh. Maybe you are the nice one. Alright, I'll leave. That's what you want. Or you can open your present. My present? Really, it's my present. My second form. I didn't get a chance to show you. It's really cool, but if you want to see it, you'll have to fight in regular combat. No take backs. Alright. Dark Noel. Well. Eh, pretty good. Nice. Bye, Noel. Key to the Black House. Hmm. Spooky armor, cold armor. You, you are too late. Ow. Oh, it's up for Murray. Uncle Mary, are you okay? Surprisingly fine, kiddo. Not sure why they didn't just murder me, but I'm glad they didn't. Me too. We gotta stop the president from whatever crazy plan is. Darn right we do, but wait, wait a minute. What's that? What's what? You got something behind you here. Don't ever change, Murray. What happened to you? Well, Jessica told you about I've been hunting a series of cursed artifacts, right? That's why I found you. We've been using the Detectotron to find more than follow your trail. So Charles got that thing finally working. That sure would have saved me some trouble. Anyway, a fella sold me a pen that could only write obscenities. Turned out to be a little with a little coaxing. You could also get it to write the owner's current address, which was here. I wrote that letter to you before coming to uh, stick out the place. They caught me while I was snooping around. I don't know much about her, just that her name's Margaret something. Eleven years ago, her barn exploded. That's where all the artifacts came from, I think. There was stuff in the barn at the time. Must be one hack for an explosion. No kidding. Five years later, she's the comp, the city comptroller, and now she's the shadow president. Whatever that is. Wish I knew. She built some kind of crazy machine, but I don't know exactly what it's for. With the amount of shadow energy she's collecting the power, it can't be anything good. She set up three weird pylons or obelisks or something. I think the function is to pull shadow energy directly out of wherever it comes from and pump into the black uh, in the machine here for the black house. Yeah, I could get I get it. So this is the pylon thing you mentioned, Murray? I never saw a diagram of what have you, but looking at it, I think it's a pretty safe assumption. And I just have to destroy it. 
And the other two, but yes, destroying them should cut off the majority of the power to the presence machine and presumably unseal the black house. Easier said than done, though. That thing's made of pure umbertanium alloy. Pure what now? Shadow metal. Hmm. A strange pillar, metal pillar thrums fulfilling its terrible, terrible purpose. If you're already at it, you're totally out of ideas. It is a really terrible one on the house, so you just try punching it with your fists until it stops working. There's so much in there, so rich, so powerful, you want it. It's yours already. I'll take that power. I am shadow charged. So good. Time to absorb the other ones. Rushing into the foyer of the Black House, Mario leads you up to the corridor, down a flight of stairs, and into the huge basement laboratory. The room is dominated by massive, writhing tear into space, seemingly confined to an umbertanium frame. The president is typing furiously at a computer or console nearby, but she turns around momentarily when you enter. She glares at you, practically hissing. I know I shouldn't have trusted that idiot no while to deal with you. I noticed the shadow flow has dropped back to an ambient level, as I assume that was your doing. Yeah, I busted your weird pillars, now I'm here to bust you too. Oh, oh no, I'd be really upset if you weren't too late. Oh, nuts. Yeah, nuts to you. The portal is open, and after I make these last few calibrations, the shadow, the Emperor of all shadows, will be summoned to this plane to kneel before me. I will rule this universe, not as shadow, President of Shadows, but the Empress. But, a much bigger goal than I was expecting. Yeah, we'll go bigger, go home. Don't try to stop me with it. My attention to this console, keeping a steady action steady, this thing had implode, turning the whole tri-state area into a smoking crater. Jeez, okay, well, mind if I look around? Sure, just don't pester me unless you want everyone to, you ever heard who ever heard of you to die. Hmm. What you got, Murray? What's that? It's an umbertanium bomb I cobbled together from parts I found lying on the Around while you were distracting president. Good job. Oh, no problem. Yeah, that was intentional, but uh, what's your plan exactly? From what she said, it's not pretty bad to mess with this stuff. He's trying to summon something, right? I figure by applying enough pressure at the right time, we'll reverse the flow and make it an out portal instead of an in portal. So it'll suck her out into space and no more problem. Well, not exactly, or rather, yes, but that's not the end of it. We also have to take care of whatever's waiting on the other side of that portal. Oh, so you're saying I have to go and fight it, aren't you? I don't know if it'll be a literal f fight or what, but yeah, that's the long and short of it, kiddo. This is the end game. There's no coming back up from this. Ready? Let me be more explicit. This is literally the end game. Once I set up this bomb and you go through that portal, you can't come back, and the game ends one way or another, but nothing is saved after you go, so you can reload and come back here and keep playing afterwards. I don't understand what you meant by that. It's okay, kiddo. I wasn't really you I was talking to. Hmm. The glow net. And... Give me that. Hmm. 
nuclear tincture and as many glow nuts as I could get Do this. Okay, it was good seeing you again, kiddo. I think I got this bomb wire so I could toss it and set it off from here by overloading the other who's it. Which hopefully won't end up getting me killed, but whatever happens, you gotta jump right through right away. I don't know how much time you'll have. Jeez. Okay, be careful. You too, kiddo. Ready? Yep. Resolution. You and Alphonse and the President and our machines and a sizable chunk of the floor appear in the middle of the pale void lit by just arriving light stars that burned out uncountable eons ago. Ugh, no, what did you do? Threw a little monkey wrench in your plans? Don't try to act cool about this. You don't have the slightest idea of what power you're messing with. Oh yeah, like what? Welcome, playthings. You look over to the right and see a hovering swarm of giant mouths and eyes. You get the feeling this is your brain attempt. It's the best attempt to render what you're actually seeing in a way that won't simply annihilate your mind. In your in particular, that. Was this whole deal just a giant monkey's paw like I did with all Like did I achieve ultimate power, but also got cursed to be constantly surrounded by morons? Hey! The portal frame still looks intact, maybe I can reopen it, fix this. Oh, you can get us back? I can get me back and then continue with my plans to summon the Emperor to our universe under controllable conditions as intended, yes. What if I don't want you to do that? Do I look like I give? <laughs> like someone who gives? Ooh, come on, President. Somebody's cranky. How you doing, Alphonse? President, human... <laughs> President Human Bring Shadow, Gator Chief Obey President, Gator Temper Temple Shadow Strength in a Shadow, Shadow Make Crazy, Family Crazy, Eat President. Well, no, not not yet, buddy. Be not afraid. I'm high. Welcome to my realm. What are you? I'm what the shadow is the shadow of. N nice job, if you get it. It's a living. Claim your throne. Hey, my TV's on. Your shadow has arrived. Glory unto me. Behold. I am here. Become me. Forever. Yes. <laughs> Join me. Glory unto me. I am here.
Yeah, I think it's just gonna be the same. Till the end. Well, that was a nice ending. Kinda... Eh. But it was pretty obvious when <laughs> that was gonna happen. Now let's try this again. Seeing what else we could do. This technology is incomprehensible with you. You inspect the portal frame, but can't think of anything to do that will help. Which implied you missed some optional stuff, but that's what replays were for. Ah, nuts. Uh, hi. Any chance I could get you to give up on this plan to enslave humanity and the universe in general? Johnson Christ, if I had a gun with me, you would be so dead right now. Hey, can we talk about... No, we can't, but... I will strangle you with my bare fist first. Sorb. Huh. You look over to the controls and readouts. It's a complicated system, but you managed to figure out two most straightforward answer buttons. Turn off the machine. No, that is not what happens here. You deny me plaything? Yes. kind of disappointing. I probably really should have taken all that shadow taint to me. Maybe there's another option with uh, being charged. But I guess that is it. I didn't know I was that close to the end. <sighs> I just wish I could have done this in a night where Twitch was more agreeable with my stream right now.
Hmm. Well, I guess that'd be it. That's Shadows Over Loathing. I really like the game. I'll probably play it again off stream and leave it to you if you want to do your own route. There's probably a lot I missed. I'll probably check out Jazz AJ on my own because I really wanted to check out. There's a lot of moxie items and strength items that I really glossed over. So, yeah. Guess that's it. Until next time. Peace.